After building your Jimu character, connect it to the app using Bluetooth. If a sensor is included with your character, then you have the option to use it in the coding section. Take Tinkbot for example. If you go to the coding tab on the right side, you can find the IR sensor underneath the events tab. You can create programs with conditional control using options such as if do and if else. After setting it up, you'll need to select an action for the GMU to carry out underneath the set conditions. By tapping on the drop down menu, you can change sensor's condition to greater than, less than, equal to, or not equal to. You can adjust the sensor's rain condition by tapping the number at the end of the block. Then hold and drag the button to the desired number. To loop your code, use the go to start function and this will allow your GMU to repeat the code you just created. Once you run the code, you'll see the sensor's reading in the top right hand corner. Now your tank bot can sense and carry objects.